Okay, let's try this again. Wireless microphone check. One, two, three, four, five. There's the case. It's a Boya. Is the wireless mic that I have. I've used it a few times last year. Um, but I thought this morning, solar kiln update, the pine, maple, and walnut has been in here for a little over one month. We're going to uh, open this up, check it out, see what we have. What I'm going to do is pull out this Orion 920 moisture meter. We take and turn it on. The species And it's set on 35 right now. What would 35? 35, that would be pine. And then you hit your on hold button. And then we can check the moisture of these pine boards. And I'm getting 5%, 5%, And what I've learned on this is, is holding it down, they say because of sawn lumber, uh, saw mill saw, you know, the rough cut lumber, you have to take and hold it down to, to uh, put pressure on it make sure there's no air gaps between the meter and the wood all right so that's 6.1 6.8 getting close to the end and maybe you can see where the pitch has been pulled out of the pine boards matter of fact you can see where it's dripped down onto the maple boards but let's go to this is soft maple. I need to change the setting to 0.49. So we go to species, go up from 0.35 to point four nine. Make sure you don't touch the back of it. I've got the audible alarm turned on so I don't have to look at it, but if if uh let's say you could set it and when you're scanning your your boards if it becomes 15 percent or higher the alarm goes off so on my hand it's reading 32 percent Stuck it right on a glob of pitch. Now something I found that works good on getting pitch off is WD-40. In this case, I'll take and uh, put it on a cloth and then go ahead and then wipe it off. But uh, I'm going to climb up in here and see what these other maple boards moisture level is. This big thick, it's like a two and a half inch cut, is 12.7%. Uh, thinner cut, 11.7. Now this one, close to the bottom, or on the very bottom rung, or, or the very bottom stack, That's 11.7, 11, 11.7, 7, 11, 7, 10, 9, 12 percent. Give you an idea what the percentage is in this solar kiln. All right, so on the walnut, let's see, we'll change that one to 
Um, got sawdust on everything now. Walnut is at 0.55. And then we'll do the on hold. That's 19%. That's 6.6. .6. In this crotch right here, um, that looks like it's about a three inch slab. This big six by six cant. You may be able to hear the alarm. That's 22.7, 21%. It's not very, very dry yet. But of course, it'll take longer to pull the moisture out of it. Let's see. I'm trying to, oh, I probably have to unhook the straps. This is. It's showing 12%, this walnut. So it looks like the, if you're wanting your walnut to get down even lower, now keep in mind this is the middle of December, cold weather and everything. We're having quite a uh, difference in moisture between the maple, the walnut, and the pine. And, uh, Normally, what do they say? For every itch, inch thickness of the board, air drying is about 12 months. So I could certainly leave these in here and uh, maybe that's what I'll do. Come back in about a month and check. I, I guess with that, let's do this. I will take and turn the dehumidifier on and then look and see on the dehumidifier what it says as far as the moisture inside of this solar kiln. So let me do that. Okay, I put the electricity on, it started right up. It's showing it's 80% humidity inside. If you remember, well, maybe you don't remember. Well, if it's 80% humidity in here, maybe what I should do is leave the dehumidifier in here. I think I'll leave the dehumidifier in here, set it on. It's 45%. And leave it. I'll put it on 35%, leave it in here so it can continue to pull moisture out, and I'll show you the, uh, get this thing to turn for me. So the dehumidifier, I have the hose running, and I've got a rubber flap under the door right here, so I can close the door and work over this garden hose where it will constantly run off the uh, moisture that it collects. But well, what I've read and what I've seen is when it, the fans turn on up above, it pushes that hot air down through the wood and out the floor vents right here. Okay, I'm back and uh, I got a napkin with some WD-40 on it. And then you could see where I hit that pile of pitch when I was checking the moisture of the maple board that was underneath that pine board. But if I got the, this pitch on my hands, I just sprayed my hands with WD-40. Put a, put a lot on there and then it comes right off. And of course these moisture meters are not cheap. You know, I'm looking $400 on this thing. All right, let's get back to the task at hand. On the solar kiln, what I'm going to do, I got them in my pocket. 
We pull them out. Got the clothes pins. Here they come. Let me show you. and then pull this hose into the corner so it has a place to drain off Now yesterday, it uh, it got a little warm. It was a nice day yesterday. And I opened all of these vents, but I think I will take and close down the center ones. I still haven't come up if I should uh, build something or, or find some kind of shutter vent put on here be able to close it down real easy I did just use this painters tape but I notice if a gust of wind or something comes along these vents just pop right open and I don't necessarily care for that so I'm gonna turn the camera around we're gonna take a look at the other side and uh, see what the current temperature is inside bright bright sunshine So right now, a little over, don't know if you can really read that, right at 70 degrees. So we, we checked the uh, dehumidifier and it was saying it was 80% humidity inside. If I'd have left that on all last night, I think it would have taken it down to 50%, but I guess that's part of it. If you do not, remove the moisture on the inside when it comes back through the vents that we end up putting moisture back into the boards i don't know how much in the boards yeah this dew is on the outside it's not on the inside so i think so thanks for watching on the solar kiln update certainly if you have any questions or comments you know put them in the the comment section below it's Saturday morning, really windy. Audio's probably terrible, but we got the Chew crew out here to help clean up this ivy off of this maple tree. I've got the bigger part already up next to the log pile. Now, the log pile is the same pen where we keep the sheep, so I'm sure that they will eat the ivy off of all of the logs that I stack out there, and then we'll... Oh, in a few months, we'll take and cut this up, see what kind of wood it is, and see what we can make out of it but good morning to everybody being December 12th and I'm guessing this is English ivy but uh, the deer goats they love ivy and I'm happy for it y'all have a great day